How's everyone doing? I'm Mike with Omega Survival and Exploration, and this is the LT Wright Bush Crafter HC. I believe the HC stands for handcrafted, and this is probably without a doubt the most affordable handcrafted made in America bushcraft knife that you'll probably be able to get. The knife by itself is about 75 bucks. The knife with the sheath is about 105, and for a real true handcrafted bushcraft knife, you really can't beat that. I just want to go over some of the specs really quick before I go out to the field and show you my field use review. It's 1075 carbon steel with a spear point, a convex grind with a secondary bevel. It has a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 59 with natural micarta bead blasted handles. It's full tang. The overall length is 8.4 inches. The handle length is 4.4 inches. The blade length is 4 inches. The blade thickness is 0 0.091 inches thick. And the knife weighs 5.1 ounces. The sheath weighs 3.4. I love LT Wright's sheaths. It's got pretty adequately sized lanyard holes. I like that it's square, honestly. I really don't like the sheaths that are rounded off. I just, it's my personal preference. They're done really well. Each one is riveted in and comes with a dangler. You could wear it through here or the dangler. And I actually believe this is the first LT right knife that I'm showing a full review of on my channel. I have four others, but this one is the one I seem to use the most. And uh, stick with me, and I'm going to go out into the field, and I'm going to build a uh, bow drill set. I'm going to carve a bow drill set from scratch out in the field. So follow me. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mike with Omega Survival. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the LT Wright Bushcrafter HC. And the thing about this is, yesterday I came out here and did this too. And I shot footage all day. I was here for probably six hours up in the mountains. Um, chopping firewood all day to keep the fire going. I was sore last night when I got home. And I went to put the video together and upload it and it was corrupted. All the files were gone. I don't know what happened. But uh, I didn't know what happened at the time. I figured it out. And... Uh, something about phantom photos I had to clear everything out and reset my phone because I'm shooting with my iPhone 6 right now and I figured it all out so I got the memory back that I need and today I'm gonna be doing the video again and we're gonna be building a bow drill set I know the lanyards a little funky but that's because that's for my bow drill and I tied it on there last night before I came home so stick with me and we'll get into the video. Okay, so first of all, there's essentially four parts to a bow drill and there's a science to it. You can't just pick wood up from the forest floor and make a bow drill. Um, there's a bow, obviously, which we'll get to in the end. There's a palm swell something you use for the spindle. There's the spindle and this bottom plate. Now, first of all, you wanna make sure this bottom plate is absolutely as dry as possible. That's the first step and you gotta make it flat. But like I said, most importantly, it's gotta be bone dry. It's gonna take a little bit of Bushcraft carving. I'm getting there pretty quick already. Take this broken piece out. It was easy. Carve this down a little. Now 
You want this to be completely dry, no moisture at all, because you want the friction to heat it up enough to start embers at the bottom of the pivot or the spindle, where the spindle and this plate connect. You're gonna want that friction, so this plate has to be dry. Now what you're gonna do is, I use this knife here as my companion knife, and it's as simple as this. Cut a tiny groove. to fall down in and you got to work this a little I'm having a hell of a day I fell twice already I got my elbow really bad I cut my palm open right there fell on my elbow really hard pulling firewood it rained earlier and the ground's a little damp. Either that or I could chalk it up to uh, needing to get a new pair of boots. This knife has uh, amazing grip, very soft grip. It's a nice little divot. Yeah, this knife is an absolute delight to work with. It's the Swiss Army Trekker, one-handed. Here's that one piece, the bottom plate. Now the second part also has to be bone dry. So what you want to do is cut all the split ends off. something as straight as you can get then you gotta strip it knife just glides right through that dry wood. You could also save them shavings for your tinder bundle. You want to get something so far that looks like this. If you see it humped up on one side, just take it down. the one side down to a very dull point that's going to be your seat to sit in a plate you just carved
something that kind of looks like that going on. And on this side, you're going to come up higher because you want less friction. This will be the side your hangs on your palm. All right. Here's an extra step. I think there's a deer. A couple hundred feet to my right. But uh, yeah, there's no right or wrong way to do any of this. Whatever works for you. But here's an extra step. Good to make a nest ahead of time with dry grasses or your really thin fatwood shavings if you got them to have something for the hot ember to fall in but you can get bone dry wood like this make long shavings But I keep blowing it all over, but if you were going to actually do this, have something for it to fall into, like a big piece of bark, for instance. But I'm not going to need this today. I'm not getting a fire going. I'm just going to show you that the bow drill set I just made. The bow is actually pretty easy. What you want to do get a bent stick that's simple make sure it's green fresh wood because you want a little bit of flex what I like to do is split one end try to find another end one with another end that has a fork in it Way you only got to tie one end down and catch it like a bowstring. That's why it's called a bow. That notch isn't good enough yet. You can't slip my rope in. knife is really good for small detail work. <laughs> speaking of the knife, I'm speaking of the bow drill the whole time. I never use about the knife. Oh, this fire is killing me. There we go.
simple so far. Now the last piece is the plate you're holding your palm. And that could be the most difficult piece to find because you got to find something with a divot in it that uh, doesn't transfer a lot of heat. I search around and see if I can find a rock that maybe has a divot in it. I don't know, I'll give it a quick test. If not, you can find a hunk of dry wood. You wanna keep that to the bottom, too. And that goes in there. I did find a rock. There's a little bit of a divot. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. If it doesn't, I'll have to carve one. I'm gonna test this on the ground. I'm just seeing if the divot works. You wanna keep the tightness of the string too, so it spins the spindle. If it's loose, it won't grip, it won't spin the spindle. Alright, this piece here is pretty easy. I just got a piece of uh, really wet and sappy wood. And I'm just going to carve a hole in it. These spear points are really good for that. I'm not sure if I want to actually build a fire with this today because I already have one going, but I think I will push it to the point where it's starting to make smoke so you can see that it works. It's actually working really well kind of want to keep it centered, keep the hole centered in your palm. Just rounding it out so when I use it, it's less friction. You don't want friction on this end, you want friction on this end. You want the least resistance on this end. Just a little bit of rounding out. Let's see maybe if you could even help it. Grind it in some wet dirt. I don't know if that'll work. I don't even think I've ever seen anyone do that before, but it keeps it moist. It smooths it out. I don't want to go too much. That's pretty dang good. So I'm pretty confident in the four pieces of the bow drill I just cut. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get smoke out of this now. Some people like to do this barefoot because they can get a better feel for it.
good to start them out real light. That in there. Let's try this again. You did see it was making smoke. Because the wood's so dry. Try putting this up a little higher. It was down too low. It's an art for sure. The dying one. That's better. Well, you've seen the smoke. Like I said, I'm just too tired today. To get an actual fire going. I fell twice really hard today. And uh, I'm worn out from yesterday. But that was <coughs> my version of a bow drill set with the LT Wright Bushcrafter HC. I'm Mike from Omega Survival. I hope you enjoyed my video, and until next time, get outside and please like, comment, and subscribe to keep following me if you like my videos.